I first interviewed Christine Terleski in April of 2014, not long after she was diagnosed with ALS, the disease that deteriorates muscles to a point where they no longer work. At that time, she was just starting to feel the effects of the disease. Tonight, four years after our first interview, we continue the story of Christine Terleski. On Tuesday night in the bedroom of Christine Terleski's Boardman home, her mother, Judy Michella, prepared her daughter for a TV interview. There's stuff in the outside corner of my eyes. Can you get it? After a quick wipe. Okay, that's good. We began. I'm hanging in there. I am. I'm uh, keeping positive. Wrapped around Christine's head and connected to her nose was a Trilogy machine, one of the new devices to help her breathe. What's happened is my diaphragm has gotten weaker like all my other muscles. And so I need like something to push the air in to make my diaphragm work. After five years, ALS has zapped Christine Terleski's ability to walk. She can't use her arms or hands, and her breathing has declined. But she can still move her neck and torso, and she can still talk. Um, I could talk for a while, um, but eventually I do tire out. It's pretty devastating, um, and I was with my family. This was Christine Terleski four years ago, sitting around her kitchen table in the early stages of ALS. She could still walk and use her cell phone, but both were getting harder. She's the daughter of longtime girls basketball coach Ron Michella. She herself taught and coached at Boardman High School. She's a wife and a mother of three. You know, I have a really nice wheelchair. Costs more than my first car, so that's, that's something which allows her to occasionally get out. I got to go to my son's graduation, which was pretty awesome. Oh, you're moving the cursor along the right side of the screen. Yes. We spent some time looking at her new computer program that allows her to operate it with her eyes. Exactly, that's how it works. She uses her computer to read, and she's also a frequent contributor to her Facebook page. I spent about 40 minutes with her, talking mostly about how she's doing. Four years ago, when we started talking about her students, she fought back the emotions. They're the ones who really kept my head up and made me laugh every day. Well, I'm going to keep fighting. But this time, there was none of that. Her attitude was totally positive, mixed with a smile and some humor. Her goodness and her virtue is what keeps me strong. It's a little bit of an obstacle, but I mean, what are you going to do? It's, I'm still living and... I get to still be in my family's life, so I just keep going. Doctors have talked with Christina about getting a trach and vent where a tube would be inserted through her neck into the trachea and hooked up to a ventilator to control her breathing. She's trying to hold off on that for as long as possible. She also has bad sciatic nerve pain from lying and sitting so much, but she says she just tries to overcome. 